American Transmission Company is the first multi-state transmission-only company in the country. ATC is responsible for more than 9,800 miles of high-voltage transmission lines and more than 560 substations. This video is about substation safety, including hazards you may encounter in or near electrical substations, and steps to follow to ensure your safety when working in or around a substation. If you're a first responder called to respond to an emergency in or near a substation, it is critical that you understand these hazards. How the electric system works. Electricity generated at power plants travels over high voltage transmission lines to substations. There, the high voltage is lowered for travel over the distribution system to homes and businesses. Substations are dangerous locations for anyone not well trained in electrical safety. Contact can cause serious injury or death. Personnel trained to work inside substations must wear personal protective equipment and take appropriate safety precautions because of the hazards that may exist. Some hazards may be the result of mishap. Others are part of normal operations. Hazards include high voltage electric conductors and equipment, oil filled equipment that can ignite at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, gas pressurized equipment, exploding equipment, toxic smoke, gases and chemicals, collapsed steel and aluminum framework, hot surfaces, electrical magnetic fields. Hazards can be anywhere, so it's important to look up, down, and around whenever you're near an electrical substation. Overhead electrical hazards. Not everything that conducts electricity is insulated. Overhead, substations use a metal pipe, resembling conduit, or angled aluminum called a bus to conduct high voltage electricity. These are open-air conductors because they are not insulated. You should also watch for a strain bus, a wire, hung under tension and strung from porcelain insulators. It also conducts electricity. Be aware of wires entering and leaving a substation and always stay away from them. Remember, you do not have to touch a bus or wire to be hurt by high-voltage electricity. That's because energy radiates around high-voltage buses and wires. Get close enough, and electricity may arc from the wire or bus to your body. The higher the voltage, the farther the electricity can arc. Inside a substation, stay at least 20 feet from overhead electrical hazards. Never climb fences or equipment, and never carry tools or ladders above your shoulders. Ground electrical hazards. Watch out for electrical hazards at ground level. Substation cabinets and control houses contain electrical equipment, including lead acid batteries similar to large car batteries. Watch for and obey posted warning signs. Staying outside of locked doors, gates, and fences also helps keep you safe. It's important to understand step potential when working around electric sources. Step potential is the difference in voltage between two walking steps when the earth becomes energized from a downed power source. This difference is caused because voltage from a downed power source is highest at the source and fades as it moves outward from the source. Stepping on two different voltages at the same time may electrocute you. So shuffle your feet or hop with both feet at the same time to avoid electrocution. The very best practice is to stay at least 35 feet from any downed power source. Copper theft can cause substation fires by causing equipment to malfunction and potentially harming the thief. If the person attempting the theft is electrocuted, the body can be electrically energized. Emergency responders should consider their own safety. Do not attempt to recover the body or come in contact with any equipment until ATC personnel declare the site safe to enter. Always assumed all down power lines are live and a hazard. Never approach or drive over a downed line. If your vehicle does contact a downed line, stay in the vehicle. If a fire starts, don't step out. Jump with both feet together. Then shuffle away with feet together. Remember the step potential. 
Here are 10 steps for substation safety. Stay in your vehicle. Size up the scene. Wait for an ATC representative to determine a safe approach. If it's on fire, let it burn. Call ATC. Keep everyone 300 feet away. Obey all warning signs. If an ATC representative approves entering the substation, a fire helmet, eye protection, and flame retardant clothing are required for entry. Do not climb. You're safer on the ground. Maintain minimum approach distances. Do not place ladders or aerial devices until cleared by an ATC representative. Do not use water near electrical equipment until cleared by an ATC representative. Always operate as though PCBs and other contaminants are in smoke, oil, and water runoff and decontaminate. And always consult with an ATC representative first about hazards and the safety of any tactics.